Chapel Cross was a Mignox nuclear power plant located near Annan in Dumfries and Galloway in southwest Scotland. It was the sister plant to Calder Hall in Cumbria, England, both commissioned and originally operated by the United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority. The primary purpose of both plants was to produce weapons-grade plutonium for the UK's nuclear weapons program, but they also generated electrical power for the national grid. Location Chapel Cross occupies a 92-hectare site on the location of former World War II training airfield, RAF Annan, located 3 kilometres northeast of the town of Annan in the Annandale and Eskdale district within the Dumfries and Galloway region of southwest Scotland. The nearest hamlet is Crickat. History Chapel Cross was the sister plant to Calder Hall in Cumbria, England. Construction was carried out by Mitchell Construction and was completed in 1959. The primary purpose was to produce plutonium for the UK's nuclear weapons program. Electricity was always considered to be a byproduct. The Chapel Cross Works was officially opened on May 2, 1959, by the Lord Lieutenant of Dumfriesshire. Sir John Crabbe. It was initially owned and operated by the production group of the United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority until the creation of British Nuclear Fuels Limited in 1971 by an Act of Parliament. The site then operated in conjunction with Calder Hall under the banner of BNFLA Euro Unregistered Trademark S Electricity Generation Business until rebranding, relicensing and restructuring of the various nuclear businesses operated by HM Government under the umbrella legal entity of BNFL took place in April 2005. Chapel Cross had four Mignox reactors capable of generating 60 MWE of power each. The reactors were supplied by the UK AEA and the turbines by CA Parsons and Company. Ownership of all of the city of Euro unregistered trademark S assets and liabilities was transferred to the Nuclear Decommissioning Authority, a new regulatory body created as a result of the Energy Act of 2004. The site was then operated under the two tier site management company site license company model by British Nuclear Group, a Euro unregistered trademark S reactor sites business as SMC and Magnox Electric Limited as the SLC. In June 2007, Energy Solutions LLC bought the Reactor Sites Management Company Limited from British Nuclear Group. Several significant events in 2001 persuaded BNFL to upgrade the fuel routes of both Calder Hall and Chapel Cross to near modern standards at a cost of tens of millions of pounds to guarantee that a license instrument would be granted by the NII to permit final defueling. The engineering work was carried out by BNS Nuclear Services. Generation ceased in June 2004. Equals decommissioning and the cooling towers equals, the Health and Safety Executive granted consent to carry out decommissioning projects at Chapel Cross under the regulations to Magnox Electric Limited on September 26, 2005. The first visible sign of decommissioning was controlled demolition at 09.00 BST on May 20, 2007 of the four natural draft concrete cooling towers of the same hyperboloid design as conventional inland power stations such as Didcot, Drax, Furrybridge and Fiddler's Ferry. The explosions were designed to remove a section of the cooling to worsen Euro unregistered trademark shells. Approximately two-thirds of the circumference and two-thirds of the shell legs were removed by the blasts, causing a controlled collapse of each tower. The charges were fired sequentially, reducing the 300 feet high towers to an estimated 25,000 tons of rubble in less than 10 seconds. Those at Calder Hall were demolished on September 29, 2007. Some local people were opposed to the obliteration of a symbol of the region a Euro unregistered trademark S industrial heritage. The towers were considered a local landmark that could be seen from a distance of up to 50 miles in good weather conditions. British Nuclear Group and the NDA prioritized conventional demolition over date planting and post-operational clean-out of the nuclear facilities on the site. A large part of the shell of Tower 1 managed to resist the explosives despite having a visible bulge that resulted from a construction anomaly. By December 2012, three of the four reactors had been defueled. All fuel was predicted to be removed by mid-2013. Defueling was completed several months early, in February 2013. Plant design The plant design was essentially the same as Calder Hall comprising for 180 MW. Th. 
graphite moderated, carbon dioxide cooled nuclear reactors fueled by natural abundance uranium enclosed in magnesium alloy cans, the principal difference being in plant layout. Since Chapel Cross was commissioned from the outset as a four reactor site rather than separate two reactor sites as it called a Euro or Euro unregistered trademark and a Euro bar Euro unregistered trademark stations, the site layout was more compact. There is a single turbine hall housing all eight turbines which were originally rated at 23 MW, E, but progressively uprated to 30 MW, E, as the reactor thermal output was uprated to nominally 265 MW, Th. Reactor 1 had the same core design as called a hall, but the fuel channels of reactors 2, 3 and 4 were fitted with graphite sleeves to allow the bulk moderator to run 80 degrees Celsius hotter to limit the effects of in-service graphite damage due to irradiation. Two of the reactors were used to produce tritium for the ICAR Euro unregistered trademark as nuclear weapons and required enriched uranium fuel to offset the neutron absorbing effect of the lithium target material. Layout and facilities The south part of the site consists of a modular administration building, four reactor buildings, turbine hall, maintenance workshops, stores, fuel element cooling pond building, tritium processing plant, and new flask handling facility. The part of the site referred to as North Side consists of legacy buildings including aircraft hangars, a graphite handling laboratory and a large building that originally housed some 10,000 drums of yellow Mignox depleted uranium trioxide arising from reprocessing at Sellafield. Liquid effluent is disposed of via a 5 km long pipeline to the Solway Firth. All environmental discharges are subject to an annual discharge authorization which is regulated by the Scottish Environment Protection Agency. Chapel Cross produced tritium for the Polaris and Trident strategic nuclear deterrents from about 1980 until 2005. This was achieved by neutron bombardment of lithium target material and the tritium gas extracted in the Chapel Cross processing plant. This facility was managed by BNFL on behalf of the Ministry of Defence. The material was transferred to Aldermaston via secure road convoys. Because of its involvement in the nuclear weapons programme, the site was not subject to international safeguards until 1998. Operating Experience and Incidents equals Charge pan movement relative to the core equals because of known shrinkage of the graphite moderator bricks in the core due to in-service irradiation effects, some of the steel charge pans on top of them had become dislocated from their design position in the interstitial channel and were suspended from the burst can detection pipe work. This was most prevalent in Reactor 1 because of the different core design to Reactors 2, 3 and 4. BNFL were unable to make an adequate safety case or effect an economic repair and therefore, Reactor 1 did not return to power from its annual outage in August 2001. The core of Reactor 4 was repaired but this reactor did not return to power after the repair. Equals dropped basket of irradiated fuel elements equals, during routine defueling activities on Reactor 3, a basket containing 24 low-rated irradiated Magnox fuel elements fell a few feet within the discharge machine onto the door at the top of the fuel discharge well. Remote TV camera inspections revealed that 12 of the elements had fallen just over 80 feet down the discharge well into a water-filled transport flask at the bottom. The NII initiated an investigation because dropping irradiated fuel elements is a serious issue even when, as in this event, BNFL had advised NII that there had been no release of radiological activity. Equals leak of Magnox depleted uranium trioxide equals a small amount of Magnox depleted uranium leaked from some corroded mild steel drums due to rainwater ingress and leaching. MDU is a dense yellow powder that is less radiologically toxic than naturally occurring uranium but chemotoxic in a similar manner to lead. Owing to its high density and low solubility, it does not tend to disperse far and dry spills are easy to clean up. This material was stored at the larger sites including Cape Penhurst in mild steel drums. BNFL has upgraded the fabric of the building and the original drums are being overpacked into stainless steel drums and dispatched to Cape Penhurst for long-term storage. Equals exposure of worker to an irradiated fuel element equals, during refueling operations on Reactor 2, 
an irradiated fuel element failed to release from the grab. Routine methods were used to release the grab. However, the irradiated fuel element snagged during the operation and was lifted out of its shielding resulting in the operators on the pile cap being exposed to the intense radiation being emitted from the irradiated fuel element. Personnel responded quickly, and the radiological dose they received was small. The event revealed shortfalls in the safety of the refueling operation and the licensee took the immediate step of halting all refueling operations while it investigated the event and reviewed the safety of the equipment. The NII investigated the event and judged that it was due to inadequate design and operation of the equipment. The incident was classified as level 1 on the International Nuclear Event Scale. Equals boiler shell defect equals, cracks associated with brackets in heat exchanger 6 on reactor 2 were discovered during routine ultrasonic testing. Metallurgical examination of samples of the defect showed that, a. It originated during fabrication in the workshop and prior to an overpressure test of 2.35 times the design pressure. b. There was no evidence of in-service fatigue crack growth. c. The material in which the crack was located was different from that specified in the design. Similar material was also identified in other heat exchangers, and no additional cracks of structural significance were revealed during comprehensive inspections. The NII considered the material to be adequate and within the bounds of the heat exchanger safety case. Equals fatal accident equals, response reference 120714 in House of Commons hands it written answers for May 5, 2000 shows that BNFL was fined a £200 in 1978 for a fatal accident at Chapel Cross. Equals single channel fuel clad melt equals, fuel in a single channel in reactor 2 that was loaded with fuel elements under revaluation for the commercial reactor program experienced a partial blockage, attributed to the presence of graphite debris. The fuel overheated and the McNox cladding failed, causing contamination to be deposited in one region of the core. The reactor was restarted in 1969 after successful clean-out operations and was the final reactor to cease operation in February 2004. See also, Nuclear Weapons and the United Kingdom, Nuclear Power in Scotland, Nuclear Power in the United Kingdom, Energy Policy of the United Kingdom, Energy Use and Conservation in the United Kingdom. References External links, Official Site Map Sources for Chapel Cross Nuclear Power Station